We will now be continuing on to messages. Next up is Keith McHenry, founder of Food Not Bombs. Well, thanks everyone for coming out. I think I'll stand up here. And uh, so one of the main things that is concerning me is um, there's a, a nationwide campaign being run by the Cicero Institute, which was started by the Central Intelligence Agency of the United States. And they're proposing and pushing and succeeding at laws that make it illegal to be homeless in the United States, and their uh, position is that the homeless should be put in internment camps. And since this is the Central Intelligence Agency running this campaign, um, it has a lot of money. One of the wealthiest people, Joe Lansdale, who uh, started Palantir with CIA money, is the head of the Cicero Institute. And in Kentucky, for example, they have a bill that makes it illegal to be homeless outside in the state, but it also has a provision that you're allowed to shoot homeless people oh. if you feel you need to. Oh, so that is um, that is on the uh, hasn't passed yet in Kentucky, but in this state they're attempting to the uh, Cicero Institute's uh, plan is Senate Bill 1011, and in this building I believe it will be in this building on the 16th. Will be a public uh, will be a hearing on this proposal. So what that would do is it means that you'll be prohibited from from sitting, lying, sleeping, storing, or using, maintaining, or placing personal property upon the street or so, or sidewalk if a homeless shelter, as defined, which will be these internment camps, is available to the person. The bill would also um, pre prevent you from being within 500 feet of a public or private school, open space, major transit stop, as, per, as specified. So these are the bills that are happening across the United States, um, and we need to be really serious about fighting back against these bills, because they're going to, uh, just like with Proposition 1, they have plans to remove all the unhoused people from the streets but not into houses, not into tiny homes, but into FEMA camps. So um, that, I think, you know, if we look back on World War II, right before World War II, the Germans rounded up all the homeless people and put them in camps. And then they got to work for free for the war effort. And then in America, they took the Japanese and put them in internment camps. So they, they, we are now at the beginning of World War III, so we can see what the possibility is. We remember the stories of the homeless in Germany being put in Dachau. That's what they're planning to do here. So we need to organize to stop it, because since we have seen this already in the last World War, we know what to expect in this World War. So I really encourage people to fight back. I have information on how the Cicero Institute was started by the CIA. Is the person running it is uh, has uh, three trillion dollars in uh, under management. This would be Joe Lansdale, and um, and then the Cicero Institute has also been very involved, for instance, in things like data collection, including the uh, vulnerability work where if you want to get housing and you fill fill out the 52-page form. Then all that goes into a data bank that is uh, that the Central Intelligence Agency, FBI, Homeland Security, everybody has access to, and it's a way of uh, monitoring who are homeless, what their habits are. If you ever filled out that form, you know it's very intrusive, and uh, and it just aids in this roundup that they are proposing to do. Here, I believe the people that are unhoused here will be put in Concord Naval Weapon Station. The people down in my area, in Santa Cruz, will be put in uh, uh, Camp Roberts. And so, it's really important that we all stand against this uh, policies that are happening. And I hope if you live in the Sacramento area, you will come to the hearing on April 16th and denounce this cruel policy. Thank you. Thank you.